So uh, the last two days, uh, we looked at uh, chapter 19 of book 2B. So be really careful. Right now, we are going backward. We are looking back at um, book 2B. And uh, so today, I will talk about um, chapter 20. And uh, please turn to page 68 of textbook 2B. So uh, because you guys have learned uh, this stuff uh, before, so I won't spend too much time talking about the details, but uh, I just want you to, uh, I just want to go over the chapter once with you because we haven't done that um, in uh, February. So uh, part A, using the calendar. Question number one, when is your birthday? So mark it uh, with a triangle on the calendar. So it will be different for all of you. So question number two, find the special dates below on the calendar and mark them with a circle. So Christmas is on uh, December 25th. So it must be December 25th for, all, for every year. And then for Mother's Day, uh, the answer would be uh, May 11th, but then it will not be the same for every year. So for Mother's Day, it's actually the second Sunday of May. So it may not be 11th this year or next year. So the dates won't be the same, but it's always the second Sunday of uh, May. And so it's the case for Father's Day. It's the third Sunday of June. So once again, the dates may not be, uh, it won't be the same for every year, but it's always like the third Sunday of June. And then National Day of China is always October the 1st. So turn to the next page, page 69. How many months are there in a year? So 12 months in a year. Uh, but then we have to, uh, for question number three, we have to refer back uh, to the calendar on page 68 because you guys uh, asked to write down the number of dates for the 12 months. So, uh, so here, uh, this is the calendar on page 68. So let's say for January, uh, the last day uh, would be 31st. So this is the total number of days for January. And for February, we have 28 days, March, 31 days, and so on. So you fill out the number of days for the 12 months. So question number four, some months have 31 days. The other months have fewer days. Find the number of days in each month and fill in the blanks. So there are 31 days in January, March, so we need to refer back uh, to the previous uh, question. So here, January, we have 31 days, March, 31 days, May, July, uh, August, October, and December. And for part B, there are less than 31 days in so for February, we only have 28 days. And so as April, June, uh, September, November. So for question number five, there are how many days in this year? So we're following the calendar on page 68. We're not talking about 2020. So when we add up uh, the number of days in all the 12 months, so here notice for February, we have only 28 days. So that means we have 365 days in this year. Once again, we're talking about the calendar on page 68. And here comes the classwork. I want you to uh, try this on your own and then I will show you the answers in two seconds and I'll talk about the questions. So for question number one, circle the months with 31 days. Uh, we did that just now, so shouldn't be hard for you. 
so January, August, October. Circle the months with less than 31 days. Once again, we did that. So February and April, they have less than 31 days. And February is the only month with less than 30 days. So uh, for, for question three of the classwork, I want you to refer back to this table here. So um, like uh, for January, March, May, July, August, October, December, they all have uh, 31 days. And then for April, June, September, November, they have 30 days. And February is the only day that has less than 30 days. So part B of uh, chapter 20 textbook uh, 2B, uh, question number one, part A, even I was born on 29th February 1980. Can you find my birthday on the calendar on page 68? No, because remember on page 68 for February, there are only 28 days. So part B, circle the last day of February on each of the calendars below. So we have uh, four different years, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. So what we have to do is circle the, the last day for February for all these four years. So 28th for 2015 and then 29th of February for 2016, 28th for the year 2017. And then also we have 28th February uh, 2018. So there are only 28 days in February in the years so 2015, 2017, and 2018. So except for 2016, uh, we have 29 days in February. There is one more day in February in the year 2016. It has 29 days. In the common year, there are 365 days with 28 days in February. In a leap year, which is right now, 2020, uh, there are 366 days with 29 days in February. So I'll talk about the rest of uh, chapter 20 tomorrow. The homework for today will be textbook 2C exercise 9. And the first two questions uh, you do those on uh, the textbook and then for questions number three to seven you'll do it on uh, math A or B or the printout that uh, that has the same format as uh, math A and B. So for question number one um, so you are asked to write the price of each item below then circle the money needed to buy the item. So we did this uh, before, of course, we cannot uh, circle the $1,000 notes because it's much higher than the cost of um, the rice cooker. So the next one uh, you would consider is the $500 notes and then uh, the $100 notes. So you add these two together to see if they exceed uh, this amount and so on. And for question number two, once again, you use the same uh, format to try to find out the, the money, like the notes or the coin that you need. So once again, if you circle both uh, like these two $10 notes, it would be a uh, the, the total amounts for this, uh, when you add them together, it will be $20. So it's actually higher than the cost of the toothbrush. So you wouldn't circle both of them. So you will start with only one and then uh, ignore the other $10 notes and then try to consider the next uh, smaller value coin here. 
For question number three to seven, you need to uh, work on the math A or B. So、uh, I'll do an example for you for question number three. So Tina wants to buy the ruler, which costs nine dollars and twenty cents, and an eraser, which costs four dollars and fifty cents. How much should she pay? So、uh, we add up the two: nine dollars and twenty cents plus four dollars and fifty cents. And、uh, this is the horizontal form, the expression, and this is the column form. So we separate dollars and cents. We draw a line to separate the two. So nine dollars and twenty cents, and four dollars and fifty cents. So you do the calculation on your own, and then you copy the answer over here:、uh, the dollars and the cents. And then you have to write a sentence at the end. She should pay、um, the number for the dollars and the number for the cents. And then you draw a line here、uh, at the end. For question number four, Jack buys two pen. How much should he pay? So.、Uh, The cost for one pen is eighteen dollars and ninety cents. So right now he needs to buy two. So simply eighteen dollars and ninety cents plus eighteen dollars and ninety cents. And question number five: How much more expensive is the glue stick than the ruler? So、uh, the glue stick actually costs more than the ruler. So you take、um, the value here minus the value of the ruler in order to find out how much more expensive is the glue stick. And then question number six. Sean has eight dollars and fifty cents. How much more money does he need to buy the ruler? So the ruler costs ninety nine dollars and twenty cents,、uh, but then Sean only has eight dollars and fifty cents. So、uh, you take the value of the ruler minus the amounts that Sean has in order to find out、uh, the money that he needs、uh, in order to buy the ruler. And question number seven: Cindy pays twenty dollars to buy a pair of scissors. So the scissors cost、uh, the pair of scissors cost eleven dollars and sixty cents. So we would like to know the, how much change、uh, she should get. So twenty minus eleven dollars and sixty cents in order to find out the amount of the change. So that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.